They look so good. I'm gonna let David see it first and I'm not gonna look. Holy oh my. To give you a comparison, that's my hand. I went to the store earlier and bought all this. These are some big old river rocks. Come on, water ball. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. You ready, buddy? What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are getting the most epic baller turtle I've ever bought in my entire life. And we're also making it a new blur the screen, blur the screen, blur the screen. Today, we're remodeling the turtle tub and receiving an epic turtle. Make sure you stick along, stay tuned. Before we get started, big shout out to our sponsor for making this exact video right here possible. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN has allowed me to comfortably and safely use the internet my entire life. NordVPN protects its users from the dangers of the world by protecting all of your internet data behind a wall of next generation encryption and has over 5,200 servers in 60 different countries. That's a lot of countries. NordVPN is helpful for me in many different reasons, but one of them being if I want to watch a show that is only available in Australia and not in America, I could do that with NordVPN. I just switch on over to Australia and I'll s probably start having an accent any moment. And NordVPN will do all of that without triggering any security problems and then getting your accounts locked. Along with being able to access location locked content, you'll also get faster internet speed and safely accessing public Wi-Fi. So go now and get yourself an exclusive NordVPN deal. The link is right here on the screen and also in the description down below. That is nordvpn.com slash Paul Cafaro. Use my promo code Paul Cafaro. Completely risk free with NordVPN's 30 day money back guarantee. That is nordvpn slash Paul Cafaro. My promo code Paul Cafaro. Again, all the links are down in the description down below. Go show NordVPN some love. I'm going to Germany. <laughs> My patio's right there. There's a full lake right here. It is raining harder than it has rained in the last hurricane we had. Hey, cichlids, you guys are just trained so well now to eat right out of my hand. You'll almost come up and bite my fingers nowadays. They look so good. Inside here is something I have been hiding from you guys. I apologize, Kaferos. I have been hiding something from you, and that is the most baller turtle on planet Earth. Let me give you a rundown on how I got right here. My buddy Gio was at a reptile convention. He had seen this turtle and couldn't resist but to get it for me because he knew I had this empty tub right here. So big shout out to Gio. I'll roll the clips on when he found the turtle here in just a second. But he saw this turtle that you're about to see at a reptile convention and couldn't hold back due to the fact that we had a baby Mata Mata turtle in this tank. Just recently, unfortunately, it died. A blessing from God came this freaking massive Mata Mata at this reptile convention. Hopefully you can hear me over this rain here. That was only $400. I think the guy that was selling it didn't know what he had, to be quite honest with you because it was worth probably about $1,500 to $2,000. So for $400, we got this massive Mata Mata turtle. I'm gonna roll Geo's clips of when he found this at the reptile convention, and I'll meet you right back here. You guys need to absolutely check out for which? the size of this Mata Mata turtle. Uh, I mean, these guys are off the in Insane. I'm gonna let David see it first, and I'm not gonna look. Holy oh my goodness. Yeah, holy. <laughs> Dude. Come on, take a look, Paul. Dude, that's a dinosaur. No way. Yes, sir. The biggest Mata Mata turtle I have ever Dog, that's seen. That's the biggest one the I've big, ever bro, seen in my pick life. Pick it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that leads us back to right here inside the fish building. We put this turtle temporarily into the 500 gallon see through pond. And now that the Fly River is getting cured over there, you've got to see. Although you just saw, but you got to see in my arms the size of this turtle. It's insane. They like to hide, they like to burrow themselves. He's in the back over here. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. So baller, dude. Come on now. When one unfortunate thing happens, it could lead to a blessing like this. We got the ultimate steal on a massive massive leaf turtle, Mata Mata. Look at the size of that turtle. To give you a comparison, that's my hand. That's my face. Look at the size of its head. That might be the biggest Mata Mata I have ever seen, and I am so grateful to have this a part of the collection in the fish building. I'm so excited to make you the most baller aquarium slash pond slash hideout, because I know you like to hide. They're the chillest turtles ever. Here we go, buddy. I'm gonna let you back into here. 
where he's been hanging out the last couple days. I've stuck a couple things for him to hide in. Right now though, we're back at the tub and we're about to set up his little house. We've got some landscape. I actually... I went to the store earlier and bought all this. Thought it would make it look a lot nicer. Now that we have to take out the waterfall. This waterfall was leaking, so it's gotta go. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it out yet. That was really hard and I think I strained my back. I'm getting old. It's one way to get rid of it. So I think since we had a leak with the waterfall, my next plan is I'm just gonna put the waterfall like that. That way we literally can't get a leak. I'll make this nice. Water will spew right out into the pond. I wanna get rid of all this as well because our Mata Mata is not gonna bask much at all. If it wanted to, it can go up there. So the goal will be to give him the most bottom space in the tank as possible. All right, all the rocks are out of the tub. Now the reason for all that was initially, a couple months ago, I was putting this tub together for other species of turtles that I had plans to get. I then changed my mind and I never ended up doing anything. Then this Mata Mata popped up. It's weird how things work and things just fall into place. So all the work I had done prior, like putting in this landscape and setting up that waterfall that leaked and all that stuff, it just went straight down the drain. So I'm still gonna leave this plant, but obviously I got more plants, so I really want it to just be filled in. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do for this Mata Mata. Make them the most beautiful home ever. Because truthfully, this is a one of a kind turtle. You really don't see them much at this size. This turtle's over 10 years old. Trying to make it look as natural as possible. It looks really good though. Oh wow, this is nice. I know it's hard to see me, but I'm doing landscape. Bear with me for a sec while I get this figured out. Do some big old river rocks. Make a nice liner behind it. Keep everything down. So that right there is where the water will come out. We have two new plants. As you can see, this one's nice and large. All these plants just kind of cover the top, which is kind of what I wanted it to look like. Almost like a rainforest jungle feel. If you look up in here though, he's got space to walk around and if he really wants to just kind of chill up there, he'll probably knock these down if he really wanted to. But like I said, majority of the time he will be in here. What we're gonna do now is get a couple of the artificial logs that were right here before, that are now in here. We're gonna take these back out and start placing them back where they were before to kind of cover this filter pump. Once all that's done, we're gonna fill it up, drain it, fill it up, and then it'll have fresh water and we'll be ready to put our turtle in. There's always an adventure going on here, I swear to you. This was so random, random Mata Mata, the size of, the size of what, David? Godzilla. Godzilla is at the fish building now, crazy. Put a couple artificial vines right there, give it some style, some look. It's crazy what greenery and plants could do to something. Make it just look so much more alive. Gonna tell me that's not insane? And we have now since installed a hose inside the fish building. Bam, we got water. Let that fill up. We're gonna drain this out one time to completely get all the muck and debris and all the nastiness that could get in this water as you can see. And then once we do that, we'll drain it, fill it right back up for the turtle. And while we fill the Mata Mata tank, we are cleaning our 500 gallon. I finally got one of these little cleaner sponges so that we can keep our see-through pond all clean. We are full, and this is what the Mata Mata's new turtle tub looks like. Come on, waterfall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is amazing. It actually provides a great circular flow in this pond. This couldn't have went any better. No waterfall, no leaks, we're good. Look at that perfect, perfect flow right there. Mm. It's gonna circulate and go right back to the pump which is under that. I mean, this just couldn't get any better. What a beautiful little habitat for a Mata Mata. 
and it looks a lot smaller on camera just like a lot of things uh, at this farm I've had a couple people come to the farm that watch the videos even family and they are blown away with the size of you know like the 5500 gallon in person how much bigger it is the building itself in person how much bigger it is and this included it just looks so so good let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I couldn't be any happier now that that water is going and flowing, it's the first time. It is literally the first time this has flowed in months because every time we turned it on the waterfall, it was leaking. We just filled it up with well water, so what we want to do is actually wait until tomorrow where we could get the temperature of this water now that the heater is in it, make sure it's at the correct temperature, and also do a water test before we put our Mata Mata in. This right here is beautiful, but I'm going to let it run overnight, and I'll see you bright and early to get this big boy or girl into there. All right, it's the next morning, fellas. It's also time for our Mata Mata to go into his new home. Look at how beautiful it is. Just overnight, how much it cleared up. You ready, buddy? Oh yeah, dude. He is vibing down there. And he's got a lot of space and structure to hang out in. I mean, that's gotta be one of the coolest things in this entire building. Massive, over a foot in diameter, I would say, Mata Mata Turtle. Well, I'd say about 14 inches. Wow, wow, wow. That's incredible. And look at that home for him, too. Doesn't get much better than that, Kefir, I was right there. They do love to burrow themselves, so I plan to get some leaves, like big old leaves that are burnt, or boiled, so that he can actually hide inside those other leaves and have that natural feeling for him. Um, but this turtle is incredible. One of a kind, seriously. Definitely my coolest and favorite turtle I own. If you guys think the same, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like button while you're down there. Check out the member only videos. Merch, top link in the description. Big shout out to Gio if you wanna check his video. I'll have a link in the description of him actually getting this for me. And I'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace.